three, two, one. It's the Puff and Steph podcast. We're not going anywhere. We're back for another week. Hey, friends, Puff and Steph, what up? Hey, happy Monday. Yeah, right back at you. Today's show brought to you by Freisinger Hyundai. They dedicate themselves to customer satisfaction right on the price, right on the pike. Freisinger Hyundai. Uh, first show back after a weekend that was um, a lot of fun for me. I DJed a wedding, uh, and it was awesome. It was outdoors. There was like 100-something people there. They were dancing. They were singing. They were having fun. Um, they tried to be covid safe in some areas in other areas eh, not so much but uh but you gotta have fun it's your wedding yeah you know? and they allowed you to be as safe or unsafe as possible so they had these wristbands right so they just offered one wristband the one wedding i did had three different colored wristbands uh this one just had one it said if you want a social distance wear this and people know what you're doing and they said, if you want to go talk to these people that wear the wristbands, put a mask on. So everyone had masks. Um, not everyone wore them the whole night. But, you know, while some people were up dancing, other people were at tables talking with masks on. It, it was it was a good balance. Um, in terms of, you know, I know I want to talk to you in terms of food because that's very important to you. Um, oh, absolutely. They didn't really have, you know how you go to some weddings and they have like a table full of like meats and cheeses and vegetables and you pick it off and put it on a plate. Well, they didn't do that this oh, yeah. time. They had uh, two kind of stations of that stuff where, where the staff would serve you. So they'd be like, what do you want? I want some cheese. I want some this. I want some that. And then they would put it on the plate for you and then hand you the plate. And that's because of COVID. Yep. And it was all behind. Yeah. All the food was behind like a big plexiglass barrier okay uh it's so weird it's so weird it definitely slowed things down a little bit because you know when you go there yourself you're just like picking it all right all right and go um this took a little bit more time and um i, I didn't i didn't see it being a huge hindrance but it was definitely uh it added a little bit more time to the hors d'oeuvre table Right. Well, it's good they were still able to have the wedding and kind of adjust things to make it work. Yeah. You know, initially they were supposed to have it inside and they had 150 people on their guest list. You can't do that. There's really not a ton of places around here where 25% capacity is 150 people. Right. So at the last second, they were able to find an amazing venue. It was actually the same place that I got married at. So you've been there. Oh, no. -uh. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, they were able to have their wedding outside, and then obviously when you're outside, it can be up to 250 people um, because reasons. I still, I, I, still, I, I still don't know why any of this is happening, but it's happening. So it was a good time. Um, that was my only wedding in August, but my September is packed. So good. Yeah, my September has many, many weddings. So we're, lo we're looking forward to it. We're starting to get rolling. September has... A bunch October has a few and then wedding season's over just like that then November it's no such a weird wedding season yeah. yeah uh so I don't know if you heard about this but do you know who David Blaine is yes magician the magician yeah. guy yeah he's gonna attempt his first live stunt in almost a decade in a YouTube exclusive live stream later this month he says he will float through the air Lifted by a bunch of helium filled balloons. Like when you were a kid or even an, an adult, did you ever think like, I wonder how many helium balloons it would take to lift me off the ground? Yes. And then up came out and they lifted the house with balloons. So that's what I think of immediately. Well, <laughs> you know, I can't, I never, I've never seen up. Don't get mad at me, but I've never really seen up. And but I, but I knew it had something to do with houses and balloons and things like that. So it's so cute. even without seeing up, that's the first thing that came to my mind too. And I'm like, yeah, bro. Number one, I had this idea when I was like eight. Okay. Number two <laughs> up like came out. This is, I don't know. He's, he's going to float across the Hudson river. He's going to try to do it on Monday, August 31st. In previous stunts, he's been buried in an underground plastic box. 
underneath a water-filled tank for seven days. He spent two days in a large block of ice. He spent 35 hours on a high pillar, just 22 inches wide. Uh, he was sealed in transparent plexiglass case, 30 feet in the air. He spent seven days submerged in a water-filled sphere. I mean, this dude... It, I don't know. It's less magic and more just kind of like endurance testing, you know, body endurance. Right. And it's more like, why would you even want to do that to yourself? I guess just for the attention and the money. Like, these things all sound horrible. Like, I just, I'm not impressed. Him floating through the air in a helium balloon. I'm just not. Or in a, with a bunch of helium balloons tied to him. He's probably going to have a little, like, fan that's going to, you know, blow him across the, the river. He'll get up in the air, and then this fan will just be like, and then I'll just kind of <laughs> shoot him across. The, I'm just, this is something that I thought, hey, what if I attached 100 helium balloons to this chair? Would it lift me up? I literally thought of that when I was eight years old. This just is Right. Not, I mean, anybody could do that. It's not, it, yeah, this is very little skill involved. This is yeah. not, this isn't it, even endurance testing. Like, this is, this is just our, you know, this is something you can do. Can you get your hands on, you know, a few hundred helium balloons? That, that's all it is is getting your hands on this stuff. It's not like I, I couldn't spend seven days submerged in a water-filled sphere. Absolutely not. Or in a giant block of ice for a few days. No, I don't want to do that. This, this takes no skill. You're just letting the helium do the work. You're not doing anything, David Blaine. You're not impressing anybody. Right. It's more so just like who's going to have the time to put into something like that and who's going to actually do it. I it's almost, not like impressive. I almost want to beat him to the punch. Like, he's going to do this August 31st across the Hudson River. Steph, could we do this, like, next week across the Susquehanna? Shut. Yeah, we'll beat him to it, and then his news won't even be yeah, exciting anymore. I can't do it. We don't have that. We don't have enough balloons for me. But you, you, on the other hand, you know, it would be much easier finding enough balloons and helium for you. Well, how many balloons do you think it would take? I don't know. I'm going to Google this. How many helium balloons to lift a person? Right. That, if you weigh... Uh, okay. Oh, man. So I was off. I said a few hundred. No, not necessarily. Uh, it would be about 4,000 helium balloons. Oh, my gosh. To lift someone like me. Let's see. Um, yeah, probably. <laughs> what? Well, okay, so it is a lot of yeah. work and a lot of helium tanks. That yeah, you need. yeah, yeah. Remember, you know that helium tank I have? We need. A, yeah. We would need a couple thousand of those. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap! So this is actually a lot more work than I imagined. It's just money, which was he's got it. You know, that's all it is. It's money. And time to blow all the balloons up. Yeah. We can totally do that. I, th I Come think on. we can too. All right. So if anyone wants to pitch in, hit us up on our Facebook page. Uh, we need your help beating David Blaine to the punch. Donate some balloons. I think, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, th I think I think we can do it, everyone. I really can. All right. Coming up in just a couple of minutes, we got Misconnection Monday. It's the Puff and Steph Podcast. Freisinger Hyundai, a refreshingly different car buying experience. Freisinger Hyundai dedicates itself to customer satisfaction. From the initial sale to the maintenance you'll need during the life of the vehicle, Freisinger Hyundai treats you like family. Check out their large selection of both the latest Hyundai lineup to certified pre-owned and used vehicles. Come see how Freisinger Hyundai drives the difference and tailors the purchase process to your needs. Right on the price, right on the pike. Freisinger Hyundai, 6115 Carlisle Pike Mechanicsburg, 717-766-866. 8422. During this time, many are out of work and struggling just to get by. It's good to know that your friends at Capital City Buy and Sell in Harrisburg have your back. If you're in need of extra help during the pandemic, you can pawn or sell unwanted or unneeded items that you may have laying around your house, including jewelry, electronics, tools, musical instruments, and a whole lot more. Capital City Buy and Sell is open seven days a week, and they're always paying cash. Plus, they have low pawn interest and terms if you aren't quite ready to say goodbye to your item just yet. Capital City Buy and Sell, 3517 Walnut Street, Harrisburg. Online at harrisburgpapawn.com. 
Great news, everyone. American Shaman of PA's doors are back open for normal operations, and they're ready to bring you the much-needed relief that you've been waiting for. They care about their customers, and their customers keep coming back for more. Steve K says, American Shaman products drastically decrease my back pain and relieve my stress in just one month. Thank you. Stop by your local American Shaman of PA store for a free CBD sparkling water and free samples. Find their locations and more at HempusHealth.com. Do you love saving money but hate buying one of those coupon books filled with places you'll never go to? Well, here comes Quick Save Coupons to save the day. Quick Save Coupons is an app where you can find savings for restaurants, stores, and experiences that you will love. And here's the best part. It's free. No big coupon books to buy. No websites to give your information to. Quick Save Coupons will show you all of the savings in your area right on your phone. Just go to Google Play or the App Store and download the Quick Save Coupons app. Then start saving money on many of the places you already go to. Now back to the Puff and Steph podcast. We do it every single Monday. We're trying to help Central Pennsylvania find that special someone. It's tough right now, right? You, you can't really go out to bars and meet people. No. You know, who do you, do you let a stranger who might have the Rona into your house through Tinder or Bumble right. or whatever app you're on? Do you even do that? Times are tough. They are. So, so what's left? What has stood the test of time? <laughs> Mis- Craigslist. Craigslist and misconnections. <laughs> That's right. Misconnection Monday starts right now. Let's go. All right. I picked this one, first of all, because he is calling out two different waitresses. Also, because the whole thing is one entire sentence. Fantastic. So it's called Two Waiters at the Country Club. Hey, saw you tonight. Sure did like what I saw. Yummy. Tell me what was going on so I know that it's you. <laughs> Either He's looking one. for two of them, two waitresses. Either one. I don't want one. One of you do not respond. Both of you respond, or none of you respond. That's what I want. Yummy. Um, real. I was gonna. That was the one. That was the one word I was gonna ask you about. Let's say Steph. That, it's like, cute blonde girl, Harrisburg, walking dogs, right? And it's specific, <laughs> and you know it's about you. It talks about your neighborhood. It mentions like. Zoe, the exact breed or the way she looks or whatever, clothes you're wearing. And then it says, yummy. (laughs) Does that like render the entire misconnection just like, is that, is that a big NO for you then? Yeah, that kind of ruins it. That just makes it so creepy. Like you could be more classy about it and just say like, you looked really nice or something. You know, you don't have to call out yummy or yoga pants, all the things that these people right. in misconnections always say. Well, I want to, I just want to focus on yummy because that's kind of a new one. You know, obviously mm-hmm. we've gone over several yoga pants ones, but if one was like to the girl walking the Lhasa Apsa in Harrisburg on this street <laughs> at this time, I got to admit, you were the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Your dog's cute as well. Got to mention the dog. Um, I know this is weird, but I would really like to take you out sometime. Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> you see that kind of just right there. That kind of ruins everything. It everything was good up until then. Yep. All right. In Red Lion. <laughs> it's called Dunking Donuts. Dunking. Dun- okay. Dunking Donuts. To the beautiful women at Dunking Donuts this morning. <laughs> I was taken back by how pretty you are. Should have asked your name. Oh, so it is just one. So so this guy said women, but he means woman. Okay, let me start again. To the beautiful woman at dunking this morning. I was taken back by how pretty you are. Should have asked your name. That's why I bought you your coffee. Hopefully you will see this. If you do by chance, would love to have lunch with you sometime if you're interested. Just tell me the color of my car so I know it's you. Oh, so it must have been behind him in the drive-thru. Oh, okay. Did he pay for her order? That would have been that, cute. He said, that's why I bought your coffee. Right. That's cute. I don't know if I could get past the dunking. Yeah, it's like a sweet gesture, but then he doesn't know what the place is actually called. It's not Dunking Donuts, everyone. <laughs> dunking right Donuts? It's the only reason why I picked this, because the title was Dunking Donuts. This is why you spell check before you're trying to find love on Christmas. Everything else, besides the women instead of woman, he used the correct your, proper punctuation, but he said women instead of woman and dunking instead of dunking. 
Yeah. Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. Uh, this one is also a fast food type place, Taco Bell. And this is actually a female looking for a male, which is a little bit more rare. We met last night and you gave me your quick meat handle, but I don't know where I put it. If you see this, reply with my name so I know that it's you. So that's some kind of app. Oh. Like you get like the username and then you can connect on this app, but <laughs> she lost oh it. Oh my God. That's not what I was thinking. I thought meat was spelled M E A T. Uh, instead yeah. of yeah. M E T. <laughs> which, when you're talking about a meat handle. Oh, no, 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 no. I was it's some so kind of website. Confused. I was like, why are you reading this stuff? <laughs> Uh, no, it's like I, apparently it's some kind of like website where you meet people. So they wanted to connect on this website, but she lost his username. Wrong meet. Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna move on. Delivery girl at Outback was picking up food yesterday, and the girl that was bringing out the food was hot. It's H O T T T T. Miss About fourteen. Miss okay. connection indeed. This was this was around 6 p.m. and you left to make a delivery order. Okay. Okay, so let me just get this straight. He went to pick up food. She brought the food out to him and she was hot. And then he stayed in the parking lot and watched as she left. To make a delivery order. So he continued to watch her. I, that's what I'm gathering from this. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm no, maybe I'm missing something. That's what I'm picking up. It seems like he just sat there and watched her. How'd you and dad meet? Oh, well, he uh, stalked me um, in the <laughs> Outback parking lot while I was a delivery girl. So romantic. Oh, it's just <laughs> the most romantic. Okay. <laughs> so... Um, there's something we need to talk about and you're not going to like it, but we have, oh, we, ha we have to approach this subject sometime. Why not now? I think now is a good time to do it. Cause the closer we get to this date, the more difficult it's going to be to talk about it. Oh but no. Is it another one of those dates where they are predicting the world's going to end? No, no. Okay, good. But for a lot of people, this will feel like the world's going to end. There is early calls, early calls to cancel Halloween this year. I don't know if you heard about no! that. No, you can't cancel Halloween. You can't just cancel it. It doesn't work like that. Yeah, there's a lot of doubt surrounding Halloween this year. No, COVID's ruining everything. Well, you know who's fighting back against this? Candy makers, like our very own Hershey's right here in Central PA. I don't know if you've been to stores, but there's Halloween candy out in many stores already. Right? I, I've seen a lot of fall stuff out. They're People saying, ready. we will not go quietly into the night. <laughs> we will not lose without a fight. <laughs> we are absolutely having Halloween this year, says Hershey's and Reese's. Good for them. Somebody's got to, like, take the stand. Uh, yeah, so... In stores, Hershey's and other candy companies are putting out Halloween candy, hoping that people buy it earlier, too. Like, well, I mean, it's August, but I would totally go for a Reese's pumpkin right now. Oh, yeah. Why not? Now, Governor Wolf just said there is no end in sight for all these bars to be open. So that those closures could happen right through Halloween. And that is heartbreaking because this year Halloween falls on a Saturday and it's also daylight savings. So you get an extra hour that night. So it's a big year for it's Halloween be, and it cannot You know what? Maybe we should cancel it. That's going to be a mess. I know, but it's going to be a beautiful mess. No, it will not. If I owned a bar, I would close at one. I'd be like, you guys want to go somewhere else? Go somewhere else. I'm done. But we get an extra hour. You stay open. It's my bar. I'll close now. Trust me, I've been in way too many fall back hour bars where by when you know when it turns to like 1.30 again, 
people are just sloppy. It's not. And on Halloween, oh my God. Oh yeah, it'll be a mess for sure. A hot mess. So, you know, maybe it's a good thing. But kids going door to door, knocking on doors. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I didn't even think about the trick or treating. Like I haven't hadn't even thought about that till you brought it up. But I guess going around to a bunch of strangers' houses, yep. people are gonna be freaked out about. Yep. They can just incorporate the mask into their costume somehow. <laughs> you gotta get creative. I'm Batman, but I don't want to catch COVID. <laughs> exactly. Just be creative. Coming up in just a couple of minutes. Uh, yeah, this is weird. Uh -huh. It's the Puff and Steph podcast. Freisinger Hyundai, a refreshingly different car buying experience. Freisinger Hyundai dedicates itself to customer satisfaction. From the initial sale to the maintenance you'll need during the life of the vehicle, Freisinger Hyundai treats you like family. Check out their large selection of both the latest Hyundai lineup to certified pre-owned and used vehicles. Come see how Freisinger Hyundai drives the difference and tailors the purchase process to your needs. Right on the price, right on the pike. Freisinger Hyundai, 6115 Carlisle Pike Mechanicsburg, 717-766-866. 8422. During this time, many are out of work and struggling just to get by. It's good to know that your friends at Capital City Buy and Sell in Harrisburg have your back. If you're in need of extra help during the pandemic, you can pawn or sell unwanted or unneeded items that you may have laying around your house, including jewelry, electronics, tools, musical instruments, and a whole lot more. Capital City Buy and Sell is open seven days a week, and they're always paying cash. Plus, they have low pawn interest and terms if you aren't quite ready to say goodbye to your item just yet. Capital City Buy and Sell, 3517 Walnut Street, Harrisburg. Online at harrisburgpapawn.com. Great news, everyone. American Shaman of PA's doors are back open for normal operations, and they're ready to bring you the much-needed relief that you've been waiting for. They care about their customers, and their customers keep coming back for more. Steve K says, American Shaman products drastically decrease my back pain and relieve my stress in just one month. Thank you. Stop by your local American Shaman of PA store for a free CBD sparkling water and free samples. Find their locations and more at HempusHealth.com. Do you love saving money but hate buying one of those coupon books filled with places you'll never go to? Well, here comes Quick Save Coupons to save the day. Quick Save Coupons is an app where you can find savings for restaurants, stores, and experiences that you will love. And here's the best part. It's free. No big coupon books to buy. No websites to give your information to. Quick Save Coupons will show you all of the savings in your area right on your phone. Just go to Google Play or the App Store and download the Quick Save Coupons app. Then start saving money on many of the places you already go to. Now back to the Puff and Steph podcast. <sighs> Steph, I'm worried. I'm worried that you're going to be like, "Oh, that's kind of cute." I, I don't think I don't think you're going to. But I'm worried because I'm definitely going to think differently about you if you think this is cute in any way. Oh boy! Okay. But with that being said, go with what your heart tells you and don't apologize for it. An Indian man is living with a wax figure of his late wife. Three years ago, Indian businessman uh, Sarnivas Gupta, his wife, was killed in a car accident. Very sad. Mr. Gupta, 57 years old, was heartbroken and recently had a super realistic wax figure cast in her likeness. She's dressed in a pink... Um, sorry, which I think is like an Indian, like a traditional Indian uh, woman's garb and gold jewelry and positioned on the living room couch. Uh. He, he held a, a housewarming last Thursday where he introduced his n wife's new life-size statue to his guests, leaving many of them speechless. Uh. Steph, what do you think? Okay, your fears are not coming true. I don't think that's cute. I think that's so creepy. <sighs> okay, good. Okay, good. I was worried about you being like, I mean, I get it. It's a little weird, but it's really sweet. If you think about it. But, I mean, I don't... Yeah, it's really sweet. I mean, the concept of like him missing her and wanting to still feel like she's there is like kind of a cute concept. But it's just, it's so creepy. Like, you have people over, and she's just, like, sitting there on the couch. Staring. Just staring. 
not moving. Oh, uh, no way. I couldn't do it. It'd be funny. He like insists on her being in all the pictures. The <laughs> Wait, we got to like, crowd around her. Um, <laughs> when I die, I insist that you have a life-size wax figure made of me and you keep me around your house, please. We can still do the show together. I'll just put you in front of one mm -hmm. webcam and me in front of the other. We can have our little show. <laughs> you could just, well, or you could just, you don't even have to do webcam. You just keep it in the same room. And I'm just sitting there like this. <laughs> Is that how you want to be sitting? Sure. With your fingers crossed? Sure, just like this. <laughs> and then and then you're like, Puff, that's crazy. What um, Selena Gomez did, right? <laughs> you always have the right thing to say. Oh, Puff. See, we'll keep you We'll keep you alive forever. We right. got this. There no worries. Go. Okay, good. I'm so glad you weren't, like... I didn't think you'd be for it, but I don't think... You, I didn't... I was worried that you'd be like, I kind of understand. This dude's never going to move on. He's 57 years old. He's got a ton of life left to live. Oh, yeah. He could find a new wife, a new partner, somebody to spend time with. Absolutely. People do it all the time. Yep. You're not going to find anyone if the life-size wax figure statue of your wife is sitting in your living room when you bring this new woman home. Yeah, that's going to be a bit of a turn off. I, that's going to be a bit of a turn off. You know, I like you, but I feel like you haven't gotten over your 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 dead wife. What makes you think that? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Maybe the giant life-size statue of her in your living room? She's sitting on the couch? Yeah, right it's there? just a hint. Just yeah. a hint. Yeah. <laughs> All right, time to stump Steph. These two questions are going to be about food. Yes. According to a recent survey, the average American eats 17 pounds of this per year. 17 pounds of this per year. I don't think you do. I think you eat less. Um, th this isn't my favorite food, but I'm definitely closer to the 17 pounds of it than you are. Is it? So it's like food. It's not dessert. Correct. Um, Are you looking in your kitchen? Yeah, I was trying to think about food. <laughs> um, pizza? No. No, I definitely eat no, way more. No, pizza is your favorite. Yeah, I definitely eat way more than 17 pounds of pizza. Way more. <laughs> I ate 17 pounds of pizza like last month. <laughs> um, so is it, it's like a dinner food? No. Breakfast? No. Lunch? No. Well, then when do you eat it? And it's not dessert. Nope. So you eat it any time of the day? You could, but it's a snack food. Okay. So it's not necessarily a meal. Correct. Mm, 17 pounds of candy? No. And it's not these. It's this. Yeah. I don't know. What, you, what do you mean? Like, you're saying 17 pounds of this, so it's not, like, potato chips. Or it is. Yeah, it's potato chips. Yeah, wow. Yeah. That's a lot of potato chips because they're very light. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that is a lot. I, again, a lot. It, it's not my go-to, but I'll eat. I don't, I don't think I eat 17 pounds a year. Me neither, no. But, yeah. Okay, let's continue down the food trail. The average person will consume 350 pounds of this each year. You are way under this. Um, you you hardly consume any of this. Um, I am definitely closer to that 350 pounds. Soda? Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Wow! <laughs> That gets a Christopher Walken. Wow. Wow. <laughs> we haven't gotten one of those in a while. Well, you haven't your... earned it. <laughs> oh, man, yeah. Steffers. Nice job. I don't, have a, I don't have a third one. That's it. We just got to end the show. Good job. Well, you know, I had a rough last week. I had some rough guesses. So I think I, I needed to make up for that. Yeah. I mean, you were pretty solid. You got potato chips by accident, which is fine. Still counts. <laughs> Still counts. Oh, yeah. And then this one, boom, right out of the box. I think the proper clue was the you barely drink or you barely consume any of this. 
Right. It right. would have been real easy if I was like, you only consume this with booze. <laughs> That's like the that only time. It's like the only time I ever see you drink soda is when you add a little bit of rum to it or a lot of rum. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. I don't really just drink plain soda. That's the only healthy commitment I can make. Like people cut out like dessert. I'm like, why? Why would you do that to yourself? Be like, I can't you do can it. do that, but I want to enjoy my life. All right. Yep. I'm going to die happy. Exactly. You may die with abs, but I'm going to die happy. Yep. With brownies in my stomach. <laughs> All right, friends, do not forget today's show brought to you by Freisinger Hyundai. We will see you back here tomorrow. It's the Puffin' Steph Podcast.